ChatGPT can now be integrated with Siri on both iOS and Mac. ChatGPT is a generative AI chatbot from OpenAI that's more robust in what can be done with it than with Apple Intelligence. To get started, we need to head into Apple Intelligence settings on each device. We now have an extensions section, which for now only offers ChatGPT. This will probably expand to other AI chatbots in the near future. From here, we can activate ChatGPT on any device that we want to be able to utilize with it. Notice we can also sign into a ChatGPT account or subscribe to ChatGPT Plus from right here. This $20 a month subscription will remove the daily limit that is currently put on the use of ChatGPT 4.0, which as of this recording is their most advanced chatbot. If you go over the daily limit of requests, the ChatGPT function will still work. It's just going to use a less advanced version of the AI. With this toggle on, Siri is going to confirm the use of ChatGPT before sending a request. If you start using ChatGPT regularly, you'll probably want to turn this off. There are a couple ways we can utilize ChatGPT. First, we can make a typical Siri request. And if it's determined that ChatGPT will handle that better than Siri, it's going to ask to use ChatGPT. Give me a list of gift ideas for a 15-year-old boy that's into sports and video games. Approve and that request is sent. Resulting content can be copied and then pasted to wherever you need it. We can also include ChatGPT within a Siri command. Siri asks ChatGPT to list the 10 largest contracts in sports history and give the amount of each. ChatGPT can generate images as well. I'm going to type a request for an image of a downtown city street to Siri here on the Mac. That image can then be saved into my photo library. We're able to generate more complex images with ChatGPT than we can with Image Playground as of now. Finally, we can use ChatGPT to compose text rather than just rewrite or correct it as we can with Apple Intelligence. I'm going to start on the iPhone and here in Messages, I'll bring up the writing tools. There is now a Compose option here at the bottom. This will bring us directly to a ChatGPT prompt field. I just need to enter what I want to write. I'll have it list the pros and cons of owning a home instead of renting. That quickly writes up a pretty good summary of the topic. Now in Mail on the Mac, let's have ChatGPT write up a dinner party invitation. Again, we want to go into our writing tools and the new compose command. I'll just enter some basics and then let it take over. ChatGPT is going to request some more details that I can add, but I don't have to. In this case, I'll enter my name, address, and a few guests. The invite can continue to be added to or refined. Of course, I'll be able to edit the resulting generated text. I could even have Apple Intelligence rewrite it. And to complete the invite, I'll have ChatGPT create an image for it. So that's a first look at how to use the ChatGPT integration option in iOS and Mac. It can be a great way to gather information, create detailed images, or compose a wide variety of text documents.